Axolotl, the Peter Pan of evolution. The axolotl is what happens when evolution forgets to hit grow up. Native to the ancient lakes of Mexico, this adorable salamander is famous for staying a forever baby. Most amphibians start life as aquatic tadpoles, then grow lungs and legs to live on land. But not the axolotl. It said, nah, I'm good here, and stayed in its larval form for life, complete with gills, flappy head frills, and a smile that looks like it just got away with something. This phenomenon, called neoteny, breaks one of evolution's biggest rules, metamorphosis. Yet, it works. Axolotls reach full reproductive maturity without ever leaving the water. They can regrow entire limbs, parts of their spinal cord, even bits of their brain. Scientists study them for regenerative medicine, trying to steal their superpower. The irony? Axolotls are on the brink of extinction in the wild, surviving mostly in labs. They might look like Pokemon, but they're actually rebels of biology, refusing to age, healing from almost anything, and making every other amphibian look boring. Evolution wanted them to become salamanders. They decided to become legends instead. Platypus, the Frankenstein mammal. If evolution ever held a drunken build an animal contest, the platypus won. It's a mammal that lays eggs. It has fur and produces milk, but it also has a duckbill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Oh, and the males are venomous. When the first specimen was sent to England in the 1700s, scientists literally thought it was a hoax. They tried to pull the duckbill off, assuming someone had stitched it there. Nope, it was 100% real. The platypus breaks every mammalian rule. It lays eggs like a reptile, has electroreceptors like sharks to detect prey, and even glows under UV light. Because why not? Evolution didn't make the platypus by mistake. It's a surviving relic of an ancient mammal branch that never got the memo about how mammals are supposed to behave. It's like if someone crossbred a duck, otter, and a scorpion, and it worked. The platypus is the ultimate proof that evolution doesn't care about consistency. It just cares about what survives. And in this case, the world's strangest mashup has been thriving for over 100 million years. All right, I will be posting more videos here. So slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Anglerfish, the deep sea marriage horror. The anglerfish doesn't just break the rules of evolution, it rewrites them as body horror. Found in the darkest parts of the ocean, Female anglerfish are the stuff of nightmares, enormous mouths, sharp teeth, and a glowing lure dangling from their heads to attract prey. But the real insanity comes from their mating system. The males are tiny, like thumb-sized compared to females the size of footballs. When they find a mate, they bite her and fuse into her body. Their tissues literally merge until the male becomes nothing but a pair of testicles permanently attached to her side, feeding off her bloodstream. It's like if marriage involved becoming an organ transplant. Biologically efficient, emotionally horrifying. It's so extreme that it breaks the standard sexual reproduction model. Some females have multiple males fused to them at once. Evolution somehow decided, yeah, this is fine. Anglerfish prove that life in the deep sea doesn't just bend the rules, it dissolves them entirely. Forget love. Down here, romance means parasitic assimilation. Tardigrade, the immortal dust bear. The tardigrade, or water bear, is the closest thing Earth has to an unkillable alien. Measuring less than a millimeter long, it can survive radiation, freezing, boiling, outer space, and the vacuum of death itself. When things get rough, tardigrades perform the ultimate cheat code. They shut down life. They curl up into a dry husk, expelling almost all water from their bodies and suspending metabolism to 0.01% of normal. Scientists call this state cryptobiosis. 
they can stay like that for decades, then revive instantly when rehydrated, like re-downloading life from a backup file. In 2007, tardigrades were exposed to open space and cosmic radiation, and they just shrugged it off. How? They produce special proteins that replace their internal fluids and prevent DNA damage. They break the evolutionary rule that says life requires constant activity and water. Nope. Tardigrades are living proof you can literally pause existence. If evolution is a game, tardigrades found the pause button and walked away undefeated. Blobfish. The gravity victim. The blobfish might be the poster child for evolution gone wrong, but it's not its fault. Deep below the ocean, where pressures are 100 times greater than at sea level, the blobfish looks perfectly normal, a streamlined jelly-like fish adapted for high pressure. But when dragged to the surface by fishing nets, the pressure drops, and its body collapses into that sad frowning goo we all know. It's not ugly, it's decompressed. Its tissues evolved to be lighter than water, so it can float above the seafloor without swimming. Efficient, not lazy. Evolution basically optimized it for the deep, but human curiosity brought it somewhere it doesn't belong. The blobfish breaks the rule that survival equals beauty. It's a masterpiece in its own environment and a meme everywhere else. In a world that prizes speed and strength, blobfish said, I'll just float and vibe. And it worked, until humans invented trawling nets. The blobfish is proof that evolution isn't about looking good. It's about fitting in, even if that fit happens to be under literal tons of pressure. Pangolin, the armored oddball. The pangolin is an animal that looks like evolution tried to design a reptile, realized it was a mammal, and said, eh, close enough. Covered head to toe in keratin scales, the same stuff in your fingernails. It's the only mammal with full body armor. When threatened, it curls into a ball, turning itself into a living pine cone. It breaks the mammal rule book not just with its scales, but with its diet. Pangolins have no teeth, using long, sticky tongues to slurp up ants like mammalian anteaters. Its tongue, by the way, is longer than its body and anchored near its pelvis. That's commitment. Pangolins are also nocturnal loners who walk upright on their hind legs, looking like stealthy little dinosaurs. Unfortunately, they're also the most trafficked animals on Earth, hunted for meat and scales. Evolution made them the ultimate survival specialists, but it didn't prepare them for humans. The pangolin is proof that nature can make miracles, but people can still break them. Glass frog, the see-through sneak. The glass frog looks like it was rendered halfway through. Found in the rainforests of Central and South America, this tiny amphibian is completely transparent on its underside. You can literally see its heart beating and its intestines working. Why? Nobody's sure. Some scientists think it's camouflage. Others believe it helps regulate body temperature. Whatever the reason, it breaks the evolutionary rule that skin is for protection, not for giving everyone a front row view of your organs. And recently, researchers discovered that glass frogs pull off a wild trick. At night, they can hide almost all their red blood cells inside their liver, becoming even more transparent. That's like humans turning invisible by shoving all our blood into one organ. It's evolution at its weirdest. A frog that said, you can't see me, and meant it literally. It's fragile, squishy, and see-through. And somehow, that's exactly what keeps it alive. Immortal Jellyfish, the Time Traveler If immortality existed in nature, it'd look like Turritopsis dorneae better known as the immortal jellyfish. When this tiny jellyfish gets old, injured, or stressed, it doesn't die. It reverses its life cycle. Its cells literally transform back into their earliest state, turning the adult jelly into a baby polyp again. It's like a butterfly turning back into a caterpillar on purpose. Scientists call it transdifferentiation, 
and it's basically cellular reincarnation. In theory, it could do this forever, making it biologically immortal, though it can still get eaten or destroyed. It's a complete violation of nature's everyone dies eventually rule. Humans age because our cells can only divide so many times. The immortal jellyfish rewinds that clock endlessly. It's the ocean's Benjamin Button, looping through life like a glitching video game character. Evolution usually moves forward, but this jellyfish pressed reverse, and it works. Pistol Shrimp, the underwater sniper. The pistol shrimp doesn't follow the rules of strength, sound, or sanity. Barely two inches long, it's armed with one oversized claw that snaps shut so fast it creates a bubble hotter than the surface of the sun. The snap produces a shock wave that stuns or kills prey instantly. It's not even the sound that kills. It's the implosion of the bubble, which reaches nearly 5,000 degrees Celsius and generates a flash of light. That's right. The shrimp basically fires plasma underwater. It's nature's smallest sniper breaking every rule about power scaling. The pistol shrimp snap is so loud, it can disrupt sonar equipment and temporarily deafen nearby fish. Scientists still can't believe something so small creates such chaos. It's like finding out hamsters can cause earthquakes. If evolution is about efficiency, the pistol shrimp nailed it. Tiny body, cosmic level weapon. Lyrebird, the master of deception. If imitation is the highest form of flattery, the lyrebird is nature's best con artist. Found in Australia, these birds can mimic almost any sound they hear. Chainsaws, car alarms, camera shutters, even human voices. They don't just mimic other birds. They mimic technology, predators, and construction equipment. Evolutionarily, it makes no sense. Most birds sing to attract mates or defend territory. Lyrebirds? They just show off. The males build elaborate display arenas and perform concerts filled with every sound they've ever heard. Scientists think the complexity of their songs is what impresses females. The more chaotic the playlist, the better the chance of scoring a mate. It's evolution as an art form, not survival necessity. The lyrebird proves nature doesn't always optimize for survival. Sometimes, it optimizes for style. It's like the Freddie Mercury of the forest. Loud, dramatic, and unapologetically extra. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.